treasures of the Aegean, it would be combine Tomb Raider with Hades and mix in the non-combat parkour of Mirror's Edge. You control Marie, a treasure hunter who's parachuted onto the newly created island of Thera into a lost Minoan city. Treasures distinguishes itself by giving you no real objective at the beginning and letting you figure out how you go about figuring out what it is you're meant to be doing and how to do it. Well, y you are given a main objective, find the King's Tomb, but you're given no information other than that. You've total freedom to complete the game as you see fit. For the next 15 minutes. Here's where the time loop mechanic comes into play. You have 15 minutes, which gets longer the more items you collect, to explore and collect as much as you can before the island explodes and takes most of the planet with it. Each time the counter runs out you'll get a scene where Marie somehow drops her phone back in time, which is how the map gets progressively more filled out as you play. Look, it's time loop, it's not meant to make sense. As you can see, the graphics are fantastic, the level detail and animations are all extremely well done, and the comic book art style in the cutscenes is a real joy to look at. The controls can be a bit floaty and Marie moves a huge distance with even the merest button tap making any sort of precision platforming impossible, but it's not the precision we're after, it's speed, and Treasures has a ton of it. Marie's actions carry a real sense of momentum and weight and barring the few times you'll need to be exact about where you're landing, you'll find getting around the map a lot of fun as you scale walls, vault over obstacles and slide through passages. camera movement is good, for the most part. There are a few sections where it zooms out to show you a particularly gorgeous scene, but it won't move and show you what's to either side until you've actually left the screen and if there's a fall there or an enemy soldier, well it's already too late. Now, I mentioned before that Marie moves at a fair speed and it's a good thing too because the map is fucking colossal. I got the collector's edition that came with a cloth version of the map and my first thought on seeing it was, they can't be serious, this is huge, it'd take me all week to get round this, not 15 minutes. But you'll find exploring one of the more enjoyable aspects of treasures, it's just a pity they just don't give you more time to do it. The puzzles aren't difficult at all as most of the game's challenge lie in the platforming. It's obvious you'll need three jewels to complete a particular altar, but it's how you get those three jewels and back in a few minutes which is where the real challenge lies. In placing such an emphasis on the platforming and flow, Treasures has gone the novel route of making it impossible to die. If you're shot, you're treated to a short cutscene where Marie picks the bullet out of her Kevlar vest and continues. You botch a jump, you get one where she bandages up her leg and gets on with it. You suffer a small time penalty and the game just continues on. It's a really excellent idea and helps keep the game going. not all perfect however. The main issue with the game is that it's designed to be played again and again and this only really serves to highlight the cracks in the design. The cutscenes have a fair number of text errors. While most don't derail the scenes, some of them are ridiculous such as a detective introducing the other police officers he's with as his friends in law enforcement, or Marie saying the utterly absurd sentence, I hope my contact, who operates on the fringes of the law, is still around. 
Telling Maria's backstory through flashbacks in between runs is a good idea, and these new beginnings help keep each run feeling fresh and stops the game from stagnating. The issue here is that the flashbacks throw away all the visual language the game has built up, and as such, the levels are jarring and difficult to read. With the emphasis on playing speed, these sections interrupt the flow of the game, and it's weird that more effort wasn't put into making them fit more with the rest of everything else. said, Treasures of the Aegean is a wonderful game. It's bright, it's colourful, it's nice, it's really fun to play, and you're going to get a lot of fun out of this game. Yeah, it's not really deep, the story is a bit ridiculous, the time loop mechanic makes no sense whatsoever, and the cutscenes yeah, are poorly translated. But if you can put that aside, you're going to find a lot to love here. This is a great little game that somehow has flown under everyone's radar.